Welcome to the Sun Parlor Coffee House Sessions. I'm Jan Hall from Folk Roots Radio. Piper Hayes is a Canadian folk pop singer-songwriter based in Hamilton, Ontario. And after two EPs, Piper released her first full-length album, Piper and Carson, in late 2017, which featured her music and life partner Carson Ritzy Thorpe. Well, that's kind of cemented things because now they're truly a musical couple and billing themselves as Piper and Carson. They have some great songs and a wonderful live show, and they're now working on a new album for 2020. There are special guests in the studio today. They're coming up right now. Enjoy. This is off the Piper and Carson album, and it's just all about accountability and having an awareness around how our actions affect one another. Cause it's your name But you're not there There's a hole in her heart And a bed that's bare She gets up She stares at the wall Hoping she'll find answers But knowing you won't call Oh Dylan why to leave her so soon? Was there another woman? And did she fly to the moon? As careless you were with her heart, you didn't understand the consequences, you didn't understand your part. That's not a game. But those who choose to play will never fully understand the path of chaos that they lay. She'll move on, healthy and strong, finally understanding well that she did nothing wrong. Didn't understand the consequences Didn't understand your part Life go 
goes on It's been 30 years It's been far too many tears Over you That was 13 years ago You didn't want to let go You wanted your cake And to eat it too She's got her man But I got the better deal You wanted your girlfriend And you wanted your wife I didn't have to think twice It was time to move So I hit the road Memories in tow Leaving behind all that I had built She's got her man And I've got my van But I got the better deal Just turned 63 Wake up every day in a new land And I'm taking my time No need to rewind Sometimes life doesn't go quite as planned She's got her man But I got the better deal our water song and when we sing this song we've we've been sending our prayers and our love and healing thoughts to all the water in our local proximity in our bodies in the world in our community and uh, that's because the water needs a lot of help right now it needs a lot more protection and a lot more people putting putting it first putting them those waters first um, and we, we send our love also to the land protectors and the water protectors in the world who have been doing this work for so long, for so little recognition, and in, a, in hopes that, you know, we can be better allies as people are people coming from different parts of the world. It's called Beneath the Waves. I 
I could live beneath the wave With a fishtail for a body And human for my brain Swimming in those deep blue waters Brought a certain calm Ripples through an ocean Felt nothing could go wrong And oh, as it goes The story unfolds And oh, we'll never know Until we both grow old You gave me love, you gave me strength From the impending storm But the long-term damage Well, you did not warn Some people think there were telltale signs That I chose to ignore The riptide and the undertow Took me further from the shore And oh, as it goes The story unfolds And oh, we'll never know Until we both grow old And when it has you in its grip There'll be no time to shout If you don't know where you're going, well, you'll soon find out. Cause oh, as, as it goes, the story unfolds. And oh, you'll never know until we both grow old. This is the unknown and it's all about letting go and we play it to honor everyone that's grieving in the world and going through their own process and their own journey with that because we're all on a grieving path at some point in our lives whether we grieve our own life or others or this planet um, and the thing with grief is is sometimes we have to trust that The things we need will, will be there to catch us when we need to let go and, and really let that grief move through our body. And so that's what this is all about. We've learned a lot from the book Braiding Sweetgrass in the last couple of years by Robin Wall Kimmerer. And, and she's taught us a lot with her words and her experiences of, of how we can connect better with the land and heal with land and as kin. And so that, that book is a huge influence on this song as well.
That's Piper and Carson live in the studio for the Sun Parlor Coffee House Sessions. I'm John Hall from Folk Roots Radio, joined for a chat with Piper Hayes and Carson Ritzy Thorpe. Yeah. It's great to actually know that you're now Piper and Carson, I've got to say, because yeah. originally it was just Piper Hayes, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. No, it's it's been, it's really, the transition's really, as you said, solidified this year and it's it's really nice. It's It definitely mm-hmm. feels like we're on the right path. I always kind of wondered whether you auditioned other people before. <laughs> you settled on this no, guy. No, no, no. <laughs> no, actually, I wasn't. I was not looking to ever be with a musician as a as a life partner. And I, I actually, at the time when I met Carson, I had kind of sworn off playing with people, just because it had become kind of glorified babysitting, and I wasn't prepared to sign up for that kind of stuff. And it's and, not like that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. So you adjust, you adjusted, you know, you went from Piper Hayes, singer-songwriter, Piper and Carson. That was the name of your first full-length album. Yeah. Now you have a new album yes. that hopefully will arrive in 2020. I think it's mm-hmm. called Remedy. Is that? That's the plan. Yeah. yeah. Tell us a little plan. bit about the new project. Well, we have been feeling a really deep call to have our music be in alignment with what the world needs and the planet needs and the people on the planet. And and one of the things we see and experience ourselves is we need a lot of healing. Does that make it more difficult to come up with the songs for the new album? Because, you know, suddenly you, you know, you're writing with a very clear theme in yeah. mind. Yeah. I would imagine that there will probably be song ideas that arrive that you'd say, well, that's a great idea for a song yes and you know that's a great melody to go with that idea for a song but it won't now fit on this album so maybe it'll have to wait for a later one Mm -hmm. yeah we might have to do a a little bit of shuffling because i know we've got a couple a good amount of songs that are in our regular rotation that we haven't recorded and i know there are a lot of intention songs that need to go on the album Mm -hmm. as well in order to sort of fulfill like you're saying the the theme of of remedy and i think the writing for this, well, we've had a we've had a pretty tumultuous year, um, but some songs have come through that have been really clear. I've had a bit of a different experience around finishing songs because I I really want there to be the essence that needs to be there, and we we really want. Mm-hmm. That. So it sounds like this is a really authentic project. I mean, yes. isn't this a lot of you know finding that Carson is the person you want to play with that yes. you want to uh hang with yeah and now starting to <laughs> to move forward with a music career now exactly. you also do workshops does the remedy project somehow fit in with you some of your workshop ideas yes i would say for sure yeah i, I mean piper's entire performance and who she is, is is she is a healer in a lot of ways so i think we've been leaning in and piper's really been leaning into that lately mm-hmm. and I, I think it's going to become a key in, component to all of our performances and yeah we've done a few shows really recently that um we met uh an amazing musician travis knapp 
he's out of Aaron, New York, right near Ithaca and the Finger Lakes. And we met him at NERFA for like three minutes. And and for those out there that don't know yeah, NERFA is exactly. the Northeast right. Regional Folk Alliance Conference. Right. And so we met him for about three minutes in a hallway. And we were already, already going to be touring sort of through his area. And he he just sent me an email like the week after NERFA and said, look, if you're coming through and you want to share any of these shows with me, I'm doing shows on uh, from the November 14th to 22nd. And we didn't have a show on the 15th. So we thought, sure, let's do it. Mm-hmm. And as it turns out, it was one of these things that was like the magic of the universe kind of brought us together. It was. And that's been happening a lot, too. I think the as the more as we as people in general kind of live yeah. our truths and pursue a real path that we kind of find each other in a lot of ways. And then this just this last week, we played a show in Kitchener Waterloo with a group of good friends of ours, Irso, Veda and Keenan, and they've been hosting i think we were maybe the first of of a series that Mm -hmm. they're calling the compostable concert series and the whole idea is that we a musician comes in plays a a set of music and then everyone kind of circles up and talks about zero waste now as far as the nuts and bolts of it are concerned how how much of the album is now written i would say maybe like 80 percent yeah yeah. yeah, I would say about 80%. And that sure. might shuffle a little. Yeah, depending on, yeah, depending on whether songs you decide to yeah, hold. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I, I know like we've got the key, like Remedy, the song, you know, yeah. the self-titled uh, track. That's a tune that we're, I think we're, you know, we really, we haven't sussed that one out quite yet. We want to take our times and really have that one be. It sounds really exciting. I'm certainly looking forward to, to hearing the, the final result. And, you know, with yeah. the, the nature of the world we live in now, as far as music is concerned, you know, streaming really has upended everything. Mm -hmm. You know, the live music scene is, is harder than it used to be because people have so many other uh, stimuli out there, you know, whether it's TV, video games, movies, whatever. Oh, we're just inundated. Um, Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, the, it is, as my partner would say, it's important to be the purple cow, you know, right. as far as, you know, <laughs> yeah. as far as music is Absolutely. concerned. Find yeah. something that's a little different, a little unique, and then yeah. move forward. Now, you do have a new website as well, yes. Piper and Carson, because Piper and Carson is now the official name that's for the right. band. That's mm-hmm. piperandcarson.com, right? Yeah. That's yeah. great. Yeah. It's been fabulous having you join us oh, today. For us too. You have one more song for us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Piper and Carson at the Sun Parlor Coffee House Sessions. Enjoy. Well, this is going to be our sappiest tune. And this is a song we call Hand to Hold. Yeah, we feel pretty lucky to uh, be able to do what we do together and to still get along most of the time. (laughs) It's a good song to hold hands in. Although for two guitar players, that's pretty hard. (laughs) I can't tell you what you mean to me Words don't come to me too easily For every one of mine you have three Words don't come to me too easily And I can't tell you what you mean to me Help me to choose to be more free I cover things buried deep inside I no longer feel the need to hide Just to take you far And it's okay to do it your own way I already love you more each day The combination of your strength and love Well, it will surely set you a cut above
disagree And you pretend that you hate me we'll Laugh about it later Cause you're wrong No, you're wrong Uh-uh, I'm not wrong Well, I usually am Together we will move along this road Traveling until we both grow Europe, South America Asia into Africa I will always have your hand to hold Goodbye. And I'll be running high.